Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pokemon Infinite Fusions. This is Pokemon Infinite Fusions. It's one of the most popular fan games of the recent, you know, year or so. It's really picked up popularity online and stuff like that. <laughs> that was a fun sprite. Uh, my, my, my versus my racy Amy or Alamar, Alamar. Uh, I'm Alamar. It's, it's it's midnight my time. I'm sorry. I've been very busy. It's all good. <laughs> How? Just co just co calmed the uh, Aquamarine one. That was a fun one. How you doing, man? Uh, doing great. Uh, still jazz. That was an absolutely fantastic run from Iron. Uh, those of oh, you who yeah. weren't able to make it, uh, definitely check out the Aquamarine run. It was it was a wild ride. It's very glitchy. It's very funny to watch. Mm -hmm. Um, but I... yeah, this is Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Um, yeah, we're gonna start. I will note. So this is a race. We're both on essentially the same version, but we both have very different routes. Uh, he's going to be running uh, all physical attackers, and I'm going to be running a physical up until a certain point, and we're going to switch it up into a special attack. Um, yep, but and, uh, we'll get more into that into into the run. Yep. And uh, Gary is running a brand new, completely brand new route that has not been seen uh, heretofore. <laughs> uh, I got a sneak preview of it, and it was wild. Alrighty. Um, you want to count me down? You want to count us down? Uh, sure. Uh, let's get zooming in three. Two, one, go. All right, get some fun stuff out of the way here. Yeah, you're going to see Choosing. we're setting some options already. Uh, no, no. Oh, I, I did it. I skipped the yeah. intro. Skipping the intro is actually one of the hardest things in the game. Uh, you might right. notice, first off, we're actually going very fast. Unlike some other fan games, we actually have a working build of the fast forward mode in this game, uh, and we take advantage of that because you know faster. Yep. Uh, this is actually a big notable difference in the run that Garfield ran for Pokemon Infinity. Uh, that build, uh, the speed up function isn't entirely stable depending on hardware and uh, certain other circumstances. I do believe that's why the category was split for no speed up. Yes. Um, so Alimra did something that I'm usually good in life doing. Uh, he immediately gave up uh, in the trainer battle. So we both pick different gens. You can pick different gens for which starter you want to use. I'm picking Gen 2 because it fits this route better, and he's picking Gen 3. Gen 3 yep. starters start with their elemental attacks. For instance, Water Gun, Razor Leaf, all that stuff. So it's actually very difficult to win that fight. Um, so, whereas yeah, the, I uh... was able to knock it out, get a little bit of XP, he had to run with... He's gonna make that up at speed up pretty quickly. Yeah, and the big thing is, is that like in practice when we were relabbing out the route and everything, like it was absolutely hideous trying to survive, and we were just like, you know what? What if we just didn't? What if we just skipped everything? <laughs> yeah. And that makes quite a bit of the early game really scuffed, uh, especially our first trainer fight, which is happening in just a second. Shoutouts to Bugcatcher Jim, who is likely going to throttle me. So let the safety saves begin. I forgot to save, but you know what? I think I got it. Oh, hot diggity. Oh, that is really good special attack and really bad physical attack. Uh, I actually got the bare minimum that's considered for a viable world record. Uh, I got 1410. Yeah, I forgot to check. Uh, I check on level up. Yeah, I did. I do too. I forgot to oh, do... Um, it was a difference. It was a different level. All right, the yep. spinner is... Really, really annoying. All right, okay. so our our Mudkip died, but that's fine because we're not fighting anything until we get to the next uh, Pokemon Center. And depending on what Lana does here, uh, we might have ourselves a good Brock split coming up. Oh yeah. I'm actually gonna take a safety save because I don't trust Lana. She's hurt me before. Oh, we're good. Yeah, if I would have hit Lana there. Uh, with just the Rattata, that's a, that's a dead run. Yeah. It's very... There's a, some ways to manipulate AI in this game, but mostly it's dependent by a trainer class, and we'll get into that later. Uh, I'm yeah. actually right now taking care of Brock, because I got a little bit of a head start, and that... Ooh, don't want to have to burn that right now. I'm just going to run it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, Brock's a, a bit of a... A scuffed fight, depending on how you go. 
Uh, similar to the other Pokemon uh, fan games in this marathon, uh, abilities are randomized. So he could have sturdy, he could not have sturdy. It's going to be bigger in effect later on in the run, too. But uh, Heck yeah, at no this sturdy. time, yeah. Uh, typically, we can one-shot it if it's not sturdy, but I got unlucky. Oh, my God. Okay, thank you. So real quick, I should probably mention that I'm using an item called the Debugger, which uh, essentially works as an escape rope permanently. And uh, we're going to use that a lot to not be where we are currently at, so we can be where we want to be. There's usually a town or three ahead. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, ooh, that's way too many. That's also way too many. Um, we kind of base where we heal on that. It also fully heals us whenever we do work. Which is it actually very counts convenient. as a whiteout. Yeah, it does technically, but we don't lose money for it. Thank goodness is, for that. If it yeah. did, it'd be completely unrunnable. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, like you said, it's. A... Go ahead. I have a spear kern, and it put me to sleep. <laughs> it's oh my be god. My... I'm not happy about this. Cause I have to unfuse it now. And I'm gonna um, be so, underleveled. Alimra is currently getting his second half of the game. We should probably mention fusion, uh, fusions, because uh, that's kind yeah. of the namesake of this game. That's um, so fusions game. is, you know, you know, you remember back in the old day of the internet where you'd be like, oh my god, I put this Totodial and Charizard together, and look at how weird it is. Uh, that's what this game is. Um, literally, we have things called DNA splicers. Yeah, there's some very cursed fusions in this game. Uh, just be wary. Ho we're gonna. There's one in particular that we're gonna hopefully avoid. Yeah. Nice with uh, uh, terms of service trainer. Yeah, we we actually nicknamed that trainer TOS trainer. Uh, the fusion is a mill tank Nido Queen. Look it up at your own risk. Yeah, you don't want to see that. Um. So right now he's trying to get a Spiro. Oh, uh, he's gonna fuse that it. with his Mudkip. Oh, nice, good. Uh, and I am searching for a Zubat that is level 11. I'll be damned. All right. I'm gonna do that. My experience might be fixed now. Nice. So, one of the consequences of the fusing process is it messes with your experience. Um, by getting a Spiro Sunkern, uh, it actually put me at a lower level for the uh, Spiro that I was running, which is not ideal. Uh, I need to hit a very specific level point, like right now, and uh, it's... Uh, it might be a bit of a tough time here. I might have to take a couple of trainers that I wouldn't normally. Also, shoutouts to free Magikarp guy. By free, yeah. I mean pay five hundred dollars for. Uh, oh. Yeah, he's gonna use that, and he's gonna be using that a lot through the run. I'm not gonna bother. Oh, uh, we're gonna go. Yeah, so we should probably talk about the types of Pokemon that we're running because you're now going into a completely different set of catches than me. Yeah. This is where the route is going to very much differ. Right, there we go. I didn't mess things up, yay. Oh, also something that's neat about this game, one of the uh, uh, quality of life changes is you can do, um, what's it called? Select button on like pretty much a bunch of stuff. Repels, moves, HMs. Shoutouts to uh, Robbie. Yep, I gotta, I gotta. I got to beat Robbie up for his lunch money three times because I didn't get the uh, extra encounters and was light on experience in the first place. Um, so a nice thing, another quality of life change is you can just beat up, you can, well, you can battle multiple trainers over and over again. Um, it's very nice, specifically him because we both have like pretty good moves. He has flying, I have rock for um just knocking him out quickly. Uh, and those give very good um XP. Oh, good. Okay. Yep, especially with the Metapod there. Uh, the Metapod does help contribute to a greater amount of experience since it is a partially uh, evolved poke. Oh, uh, XP is the body, I'm fairly certain? Uh, it, is it? It is the body. Yes, it's the body. Okay. So different parts determine different things. Um, typing is determined by primary, head, secondary, bottom. So like this is, uh, well, that's a bad example. This is the poison type that I'm fighting for. The... No Intimidate on the Ekans. Heck yeah. yeah. I know, right? That's very lucky. Uh, we're gonna go... And I get the evolution on the rocket. That Alright, so I'm ahead of experience now. Yay. Yeah, also, well, shadows... don't get too far. 
Yeah, shout out to Basilisk, by the way. Uh, he is a member of the Pokemon Infinite Fusion Sprider community. Uh, he popped into my chat fairly re uh, frequently and saw that our mains did not have custom sprites, and he whizzed those up for us. Oh, yeah. All right. Popmer is very cursed. Uh, I got the cursed sprite. I hope you did, too. Uh, I'm too busy getting paralyzed. Oh, mood. Um, yep. Yeah, thank god. Uh, he can also just poison you, he can smog you. Shout out to Dome Fossil. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna try to hit him with a ground boot so he can have levitate and then just wreck my yeah. day. Oh, heck yeah, no levitate. Let's go. Two shot him. Yeah, that's a very, uh, a very important part of the route. Yeah, I know, it's very cursed sprites. Alright, so now I'm gonna do some fun stuff. I'm gonna rare candy in order to evolve, and then I'm going to... I should probably start moving my notes down. Alright, I successfully got the Helix Fossil. Nice. Yeah, uh, chat's gonna be mad with me later, though. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> what could go wrong? Uh, That's not oh, right. And... Helix Fossil's definitely gonna leave my uh, my ownership here shortly. Because we're gonna, uh, we're gonna revive it. We're gonna revive it. Uh, it's gonna see its nice home. Um, sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, a nice little right. thing in this game. No, 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 no. We don't. We're not gonna admit that yet. A uh, nice thing about this is re movie learners are in every Pokemon Center, except the first one. Yep. Uh, and the uh, ones that show up way later in the game, but yeah. that's fine. All right. Save. I did everything I needed to. Yes. Okay. I don't um, like so my HP value. Um, fusing levels is determined- oh, why is that so low? I have to take a safety save. Or not safety save, safety heal. Oh, uh, that's fine. That's not great, but it's fine. Okay. Let's start the bridge. Throw a bunch of rocks at bugs. Oh, you slightly passed me, huh? I I 100% say that the only reason why I passed you is because I got the uh, no levitate Koffmer. You know, well that and also uh, I had to do some fusing of my own. Um, so level on fuse is two times the highest level, or two thirds of the highest level plus one third of the lowest level. Um, so I fused an 18 and a, an, a, an 11. I got a eight, a 16. Uh, we're gonna, oh nope. There are some ways that you can kind of mess with that math. Um, yeah. It's mildly inconsistent, though. Otherwise, we would be abusing the ever-loving heck out of it. Yeah. Uh, we'll also be getting an item later. At least I will. I think you do, too. Uh, that kind of bypasses that. So, and we'll bring that up later. Oh, that didn't kill. Heck yeah, no levitate Koffmer. Or not uh, Koffmer, uh, Cough Orb. Nice. Run is officially blessed. Oh, I got intimidated. Hail me. Hit me. Thank you. I could one-shot the frickin' Ekans, but I couldn't one-shot the, uh, the Zubat that came after. <laughs> I get it. Yep, yeah, alright, let's get this revived, because we like safety. No! I have not oh. been hit by this kid in, like, ever. No! That's the risky one. Um, you can do a triple pass on him by slightly manipulating his AI, uh, but it is very difficult. No, I usually just yellow it, and there's a. Yeah. Uh, he's actually scripted after you get past a certain point on him, uh, so he's literally free. Yeah. But that actually forks up my experience routing significantly. Yeah, so you I wanna... have. Yeah, you, I was going to say, you want to bring that up now? <laughs> yeah, so I cannot have my Marsh Tomp be higher than level 33 at a very specific point in the game, otherwise, it costs me a crap ton of time and $1,000. In real life. I will. In real life money. It, yep, actual real life money. I have to pay 200, uh, 200 gift subs oh, to like annoying. three different channels whenever that happens. All right, I, I was pressing buttons and going burr and I accidentally <laughs> thought over the wrong move. It's fine. It's oh, only no, I do the same thing sometimes. One, two, three, four, five, and six, go. Oh, all right, let's go. Get a fresh water before you fight Misty. 
So there's an addition to all of the funness of the fusions. Uh, we can also reverse our fusion components without needing to unfuse and then refuse. Uh, you saw this earlier when I was a Fero Marshtomp, and I'm a Marshtomp Fero, um, as evident by the fact that I am water flying now instead of ground flying. I got the troll uh, pass, by the way. You got it? I got the troll pass, yeah. yeah. Oh, I should also mention, weather is randomized. Did I get the chat? Oh, I missed the chat strat. Oh. Yeah, I didn't get Giga Chat either. So there's a trainer that's named Chad, and he's a spinner, and we want to hit him. And if we hit him before he spins away from us, we call that Giga Chad. Yeah, we want to hit him because uh, it blocks the view of another trainer who also has... Oh, by the way, say hi to Bill. He's a little, uh, he's a little cursed. He did some, uh, some illegal fusing. Illegal fusing is the best kind of fusing, though. Oh, we should probably mention the story, too. Speaking about illegal fusing, uh, you want to talk about the story? Oh, uh, you got it. I don't know the story. Okay, so what happened is <laughs> Team Rocket is a bunch of jerks, and they want to control the most powerful fusions ever. And in order to do so, they're trying to perfect what was called triple fusion. And that's why they were in Mount Moon, stealing all the moonstones and beating up the super nerd for his lunch money, because his lunch money is actually uh, science moonstones as well, and also science. Um, yeah, they tried doing they're... it with uh, Sandshrew, Pid, or no, Sandshrew, Ekans, and something else, I don't remember. Yeah, I uh, think it was a Zubat, probably. Also, yeah. high Manicate, by Manicate. No! That was the fight for now. Shoutouts. To... So, Gary J famously is the uh, primary router and record holder of an older version of the game. Uh, before Zap Molkuno, who is a pain in the butt, became a triple oh. bird. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of changes to the game that's happened over the course of the bajillion patches. Why is fan club so awful? I know, right? You're getting bodied by the, uh, getting anti by the, uh, random Pokemon. Oh, uh, yes, we were running yep. different routes. It's kind of nice how a lot of the runners have their own unique route. Uh, it, it, there's definitely flex- I mean, you can make the perfect Pokemon, essentially, so there's a lot of flexibility with what Pokemon is best, and there's no real good argument except my route's better. So- uh, I mean, who's ahead right now? Hey now, hey now! <laughs> That's fine, I'm getting canned, so- Yeah. Oh, no way! About... No way! Oh my god. First check, second check, no way! All right. Oh well, my gotta... god! Now I'm scared. Um, so another fun thing about the route is, considering I have a water flying type, oh, I'm getting bodied too. Uh-huh. Uh, considering the, uh... uh, I'm using a water flying type, I'm actually gonna be skipping Surge for now, and I'll be coming back to him later. That's fine. I got, um, I got light screen double double team. <laughs> okay, we're fine because he decided to withdraw the Rybuzz. Uh, oh, I don't I trust this though. I'm taking the heal. Yeah, I'm doing badges 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 3, 7, 8. And, and Alimra is doing, doing 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, four. 5, 6, 7, 8. Also, I'm debugging back to Cerulean because it's faster than doing any movement. Yeah. Um, this is another fun thing about the debug. I'm gonna heal just to be safe. Um, shout out to Blue Skip. Uh, an old version of uh, this game, you could start the fight, wipe out, and then just, in a, if you go a specific way, uh, you skip him. Um, it's unfortunately not fast enough because you have to walk back. Yeah, that's the unfortunate consequence. And when I first saw that in a run, I like lost my mind. Yeah. So like, like, you can change everything. Gotta change up. the route. Gotta change the XP yeah. route. Oh my God. Um. By the way, for those who are interested in the game, uh, Gary J was bringing this up. Like, there's a literally over two hundred thousand individual Pokemon combinations that you could run. Uh, there is a category extension that's specifically for running literally whatever you want. It's called Custom Starter, and uh, we've actually had a couple of community members join the uh. Infinite Fusion. Uh, speedrun community by starting in custom starter. Shoutouts to a big chungus percent, I'll route it eventually. 
Yep, and uh, shout-outs to Maverick Tempest, who is currently stealing world records from me yeah. in those category extensions. Uh, we do this now. Maverick is doing uh, absolutely fantastic, uh, our newest runner. Yeah. Left. Also, you're going to be seeing a lot of dark segments from us, because we actually know how to do them. Oh, oh I yeah. made a mistake. I didn't buy my reversers. I was too busy fixing my splicer issue. That's fine. Everything's okay. I can absolutely recover from that. It's just money. It's fine. Oh. It's fine. Um. So when I leveled up, my ex my attack could have been 23 through, through 29. It was 20... What was it? Oh, 24 through 29. It was 25, which is, like, barely passable. Uh, I'm just missing a lot of two shots that I could be normally getting. Like, this is... Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some ranges That's involved that get a little scuffed at times. Where are you? Also, I can't prove this, but uh, I'm fairly certain the enemy IVs are randomized. I can't guarantee it, though. I'm fairly certain it is as well, in addition to their natures. Uh... Okay. Um, so like I mentioned earlier, there's marginal uh, manipulation with and uh, with the uh, well, opponent trainers. Uh, pretty much every single hiker can be manipulated in some way. Which is very Shout nice out to me. Yolo Hiker and uh, Victory Road. Yeah. All right. Hold left, down, right, down, left, up, left, up, left, up, down. Oh, you put a repel up, huh? Vile plume start when? You do it, Cynic. Yeah. I support you. Oh, uh, that should be enough XP then. Uh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yes. I four gore the map. Okay, so I'm going to be doing something brand new that was discovered on Thursday. Uh, That's I'm the Mabone, not... by the way. Mabone. Uh, I'm going to not unfuse my main, and I'm going to I'm going to be very risky on my experience because theoretically, even with the weird experience shenanigans that occurred, I should be at the perfect experience after this fight. I'm saving just in case. I'm also failing at this fight fairly significantly right now. There we go. You might have noticed if you're very keen-eyed. Uh, a lot of Pokemon have uh, infatuation, but fused Pokemon that have opposite genders just are genderless. So it's great having a po an imposing Pokemon without a gender that used in, in, um, infatuate because it just does nothing in that specific instance. Just by game mechanics. Okay, I got through without a feint against a very angry, thrash happy Gyarados. Oh, that's alright. Alright. Bonk, 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 bonk. Oh, yeah, shout outs to uh, this Lickitung fusion. Uh, Are we talking like Shell Tongue already? Shell Tongue, yeah. Ah! Shell Tongue and his perpetual. Five hit, sometimes crit. Exactly. I got five got hit. It. I hope you appreciate that, knowing that. Oh, man. I got five hit as well, but then he leered uh, for the second move, and I was just like, don't you dare. <laughs> it's not guaranteed. It just is always happening. It always happens. We yeah, he's why. got leer, icicle, a gamer. throw, and supersonic, like he's and protect. Like, he's just yeah, a menace. Protect. He's just a better gamer than us. He just frequently in before loaded dice. <laughs> All right, uh, by Helix. <laughs> by two of you, I'm buying two guard specs, nine X attacks, three X speeds, and that's literally everything that I buy for the entire run for X items, which is significantly unusual for a Pokemon game. No, oh, yeah, that's very good. Alright, this is a very good, uh... Okay, good. Oh, I'm leveling up way earlier than usual. Are you hitting extras? Uh, I did, yeah. I hit the... The, uh... Spinner on B1 of, uh... Dark Cave or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, my experience routing paid off, by the way. I have a level 33 Marsh Tomp, which means we are not going to get owned by, uh, Magikarp. Yes, that is. You heard that right. 
Oh, she also mentioned the fact that we we have the bike, but the basic bike is not much faster, especially when you're moving this fast. Uh, it's only a 10% increase. Um, now, also, we got the to... mock bike. Yeah, I was going to say. Shoutouts to flying in the sound that you're in. Oh my god. No, Typical speedrunner things. Alright. Say hello to the derpiest boy ever. Magitomp. Uh, no, we are not taking... Ooh. Uh, so I had a minus attack nature, and then now I have a plus speed minus special defense nature. So my attack is going to be fantastic. Here's our Garatomp. Uh, shot over bomb. Nope, that's fine. Bite over bide. Aquatel over foresight. Use the last of the rare candies. I already used my protein. Set up my moves to where they make sense. And uh, we're going to go get stinky. Hope you guys like sewers. Uh-oh, stinky. Uh, and I just did the same. You might think that we're not buying many X items, but both of us have a pretty good setup move that we're going to be using later on. Um, so yep. we can kind of bypass a lot of the... Um, uh, the, uh, uh, X items. We're gonna and also, jammed. X items are only plus one in this gen, or in this game. Oh, uh, we should probably talk about the base system. The game is based yeah. off of, uh, Black and White 2 specifically. Uh, sh when, uh, Frogman, uh, aka Chardub, uh, came across the DNA fusion mechanic for Kyurem, Reshiram, Zekrom. Uh, he fell in love with that and based the entirety of the fan game off of that. And uh, the Japiel auto fusion thing that was floating around the internet at the time that uh, Gary J mentioned. Yeah. So uh, back all in the my mechanics... day, right? All of the mechanics are based off of uh, Gen five point five, I guess we could call it, since it's black two, yeah. white two. Um, and to note, the very important one from that is XP scaling. Uh, the higher level you are, the less XP you get. Yep. So that will come into effect. See... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your your mon is going to be significantly higher level than me for like most of the run, but I'm still going to be we'll able to stay caught eventually. up. Ah, no, nope. seeing where you end. All right. I'm I'm almost to to the worst part. The oh, absolute worst really. part of the entire run. Um, Geo. If you ever playing this game casually and you're like, why is my game laggy? Uh, <laughs> so the game, I mean, it's very impressive what it's what it does. There's 200,000 plus unique sprites plus you know multiple have multiple Pokemon have multiple different ones. Um, so it has problem clearing the cache sometimes. Um, so if you're ever experiencing that, just reset the game. Yep. If you close out the game and reload it, uh, it clears your sprite cache, and that's actually significantly recommended for anyone who's speedrunning the game because it it eats a buttload of time like there's no other way of describing it like in the sewer specifically you see there's little like footprints that are behind uh they you move at half speed essentially when the game lags because it's trying to load the sprites in My only in the water mind you so like 99 percent of the other game uh 99 percent of the uh, rest of the uh, game is perfectly fine but uh and specifically the stewards, oh, that's very unfortunate. Oh, no. Okay, this is this is absolutely off the rails. Uh, sturdy with... Oh. Okay, we're fine. Everything's K. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Hong Kong is gone. Could have been worse. I'm only losing, like, 25 seconds. Uh, the game really likes to throw in uh, normal ghost types. That's not right. What you see with uh, Geo? Oh man, Geo's a menace, an absolute menace to society. Every time you see him, he is the body that is going to stop you. Yeah, he's really the first of like two major gatekeeps in this run. Um, the other one you'll see about twenty-ish minutes, not even. Uh, uh, one tile movement in this game at max speed is absolutely atrocious, especially since the game runs at like 40 frames per second, so it's not even yeah. like it's a normal amount of frames. 
Oh yeah, no, you can't disrespect Giovanni anymore, and it makes me no, sad. Yeah. There, there used to be a. Except when you fight him in the gym. Uh. Oh yeah, you could totally disrespect him there. Um, but there used to be a, not so much a glitch, but the game forced you to look a specific direction whenever you engaged in su with sewers Geo, and it made it to where you could be facing the wall rather than talking to him. And I love disrespecting Geo. And now I can't anymore. I can only disrespect Jasmine. Oh, yeah, that was a shadow bone right off the bat. I need emergency healing. Don't run. Uh, that's fine. We got the pool. Genwalk is very angry. No! Oh, cool. He locked himself in the thrash. I should uh, be able to do that's this. actually a reset for me. Uh oh. I got bulldozed and my speed went down. You got a safety save, right? Yeah, I did. Don't worry. Okay, cool. No, I got to reset the run. Don't worry. It's fine. I'll be fine. You'll just catch up. Everything's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I just exited Pokemon Tower, so I'm on my way to do the thing that you taught me how to do earlier today. Yeah. So, yeah, I... like most Pokemon Cycling games, road. Um, yeah, like most most Pokemon games, the um, uh, the AIs. Oh, that's that's triple spit up. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, oh. the NPCs start moving once they're loaded, so. We can use that to our advantage. Boom! Okay, perfect. Every time now, times for cycling road. Yeah, Never have to clench ever again. There is a lot of very scuffed trainers on Victory Road. Oh man, there's one that is, if I hit it, I literally have to reset. Yeah, and I never have to hit I... One or two that are <laughs> honestly almost impossible to beat. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Who I got saved by that. Okay, first trip into Safari Zone, uh, looking for no repels. Come on down, thank you. Looking to not repel until the second trip into Safari Zone, because we need to get our delicious egg. Of yeah, course, first uh, tile on the we're going to be part. both doing two different uh, trips in Safari Zone. Yep. Well, you have a do. different reason to go into okay, Safari well, Zone. We'll get there when we get there. Yeah. But let's do that in the... Uh, that's not even close to me, right? <laughs> No, it's one trainer, that's fine. That's not right. the right move at all. Noom! Okay. Skipped all of those. Yeah. Uh, sh Shoutouts to them patching out infinite Safari Zone steps, like, the day yeah. after me and my friends discovered it. <laughs> yeah, there used to be a thing where you could, you could walk, like, out of the range of the Safari Zone. Like, the, the person that catches you and tells you, Hey, let's go to the Safari Zone! Um... And then you can just mess with the game the way it loads in, it loads you in, and then you just have infinite steps. Um, it's very silly. Oh, of course, that wasn't okay. Oh. All of the things that they could have taken away from us, it had to have been that. It's in 5.0! Yeah, it uh, was patched out in 5.16? Yes. I think it's 5.16. All right, we have our delicious egg now, and I will not split until I equip it. Oh boy, Koga time. Oh no, solar beam, no. Oh my God, please. I did not two shot Ratsy, that does not bode well. All right, so we need to get 36 against uh, against all of Koga's trainers. If we don't, uh, we have to go find... Now we have the opposite problem. We were originally trying to get so few encounters that we evolved at, or we unfused at a particular point. Uh, we now want to get specific experience so we evolve by Koga. Otherwise, everything is awful forever. Yo, I got the good art on uh, Ghastly. Hell yeah. Oh, that's not good. Um, so now you're starting to see the semblance of my new team, or my new main. Um, not quite there yet, but uh, you'll see him. Oh, I should probably put up the, uh... Ah, hey, there he is again. Oh, that's right. 
That's not right. right. Let's get. No, I got sleep powdered. A my hubris. My hubris for not getting the one awakening that we find on the entire way and the <laughs> yeah. one thing that can put us to sleep consistently. All right, here's our Garatom. He's angry. All right, let's heal, save because Koga's a butt. Uh, I will, I will not come in with additional pokes. If I die, I die. One, two. What are you doing? There's the fling. Okay, baited the fling. Here's our full restore. Uh, Octail. Hey, Limmer, what level are your Pokemon right now? 37. Oh, that's nice. That's really high level. That's that's nice. That's a good level. Is you have, a, what, a 45? No, 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 no. You don't know about that yet. I'm just getting to, I'm just getting to a, uh, what's it called now? Bike road. Cycling road. Oh, you're, you're on cycling road? Yeah, I, I fell a little behind. Oh, I do this. I, I did not get, uh, beaten by the wall of Chinook. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, flare bolt. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. You heard nothing. I had an optional. Yep. All right, so now I'm going into the toll bridge, which I can either pay a million dollars, no, a hundred thousand dollars to get into Saffron, or I could just beat up this rocket with my very angry bird and my very angry fish. <laughs> and rat. There we go. All right. Have a good night. Now, have fun, GG. Have a good evening! Thank you again for uh, assisting with commentary, Randall, with uh, uh, Aquamarine. It was a blast! You actually go through Sylph differently than I do, right? I guess. I don't know. You never take a trip to floor 10. Oh no, I don't. I don't need yeah. to. I need to for more elixirs and more uh, PP maxes. Yeah, he's gonna be using H or um, he's gonna be using moves that are slightly less PP than what I'm using, so he has to rely more on uh, on uh, elixirs and stuff. I only get one, and I use it during the E4. I'm gonna take the floor four safety healing items yeah. because I don't trust anything or anyone, especially that guy. Six. All right, let's go save some nerds. Thank you, Dad's butt. <laughs> thanks for the yeah. thanks for the shout out, dude. Almost okay. There we go. All right, get another elixir and a hyper. All right, I have to do something very RNG based. I need to catch this Pokemon coming up. Oh, but I need to throw rocks at it four times, so I need everyone to hold their breath. Because if I don't catch it, I have to do Safari Zone all over again. All right. You are such a troll. <laughs> hey now, hey now. Oh, oh dear lord. First try, that let's is, go. That is not what I needed to see. <laughs> All right, please hit yourself at least once, thank you. Uh, he So he's programmed not to run away. And also in this game, um, that's not right. Uh, okay. Shiny's are programmed not to run away in Safari Zone. Uh, shout outs to this Tauros being an abs- I outsped it? That is the first time oh, I've nice. literally ever outsped that Tauros. And I have I used my X speed, which I had held over from the Giovanni Sewers fight. And even with the X speed, I have never outsped that Tauros before. Oh wait, what what this level is... oh 40 41 you're at? Yeah I just hit 42. Yeah, I know, cute. right? That's what my fiance tells me. Shout out to my fiance by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Sylph Geo, let's go. 
Try Marino down. Uh, in fact, that's good. That's good. That's really good. Geo is being very, very nice right now. He is not targeting me with anything. Oh, I'm not doing this right. Um, so this double battle that he's doing right now is a little sketch, mainly because he you partner it's literally up with... if yeah yeah if if Geo wants to kill me, Geo can kill me. If uh, rival wants to do literally nothing and be a something something Applebee's, then he can just be a something something Applebee's. Oh uh, yeah, it's... he can push somebody sometimes be like that's you Thratch of the ghost type. Yeah, and that's literally what he'll do. Uh, sh uh, that's a fucking gold. Oops, I did the thing again. Sorry. <gasps> you did the thing. I did the thing. I did a worse thing, and I'm sorry. What I the gosh darn dingly darn heck, dude? I'm uh, yes, exactly. Oh, that's not I need to not. <laughs> no, Geo didn't hit me at all. Oh, I'm also in the wrong configuration. I need to be on the other side. Golding on Sylphco is very difficult now for me. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, apologies okay. for my extreme excitement. Um, also, I need to be reversed. And there we go. Every time that I reverse, by the way, because Bite is a mandatory learn, quote-unquote, for... Um, uh, Evil. Gyarados, Evil. Yeah. it'll always do it. It'll always ask me, do I want to do the thing? My answer is no, I never want to do the thing. But, like, maybe next time you might want to. You have a similar problem. Yeah, well, I only got to do it once. Because Gengar wants to learn Shadow Punch for some reason. I, I have to reverse six times with a Gyarados, and it is mildly painful every time I have to do it. Uh, I'm saving, even though I really shouldn't, because Sabrina is uh, more or less free. One. All right, we didn't miss Aqua Tail. Hard part's over. Also, here's your cat dog sprite. We got best Ezreon. Also, shoutouts to Genkazam, the most horrifying combination you can potentially ever get. It's also a very terrifying Pokemon in general because it can use it uses Nasty Plot turn one and then can just wreck everything. Oh, yeah. No, it's it's absolutely hideous having to go through that. I need to fly to... I, I need to not fight Erica. I need to get my Snorlax. I almost autopiloted the Celadon, and that would have been tragic, because then I would have not gotten a Snorlax. Oh, okay. This is, like, the only difference in the route between any percent and uh, beat gold for me. We have to pick up this Snorlax, and we guarantee the catch with the Master Ball that we get at the end of Silco. I don't even pick up the Master Ball. Uh, you know what? I probably should pick up the Master Ball. I mean, eh, honestly, not... for what it is that you're going through, you don't necessarily need it. Yeah, it'll be fine. I also just messed up the movement again. Cute. Oh my god. It's fine. Taking the time to learn all the things before I go back to uh, literally bullying Erica into a hole. We use four moves on Erica, and they are all super effective. All right, we got the ice punch. Uh, we do have to beat That's... the. Go ahead. Uh, did you know that you can enter into the uh, Celadon Hotel, yeah. Hotel from the back and the side? Yeah. That's a new one. This game has all sorts of fun jank collision, which you'll see later on. Uh, that's a new one on me. Uh, it's after Blaine that I have to reverse again. The hardest part about this route for me is just remembering when I need to not be this particular configuration of uh, Pokemon. I cannot state how hard it is hitting your fly target while yeah. <laughs> on the map at full speed. It's hideously hard. 
There we go. No encounters on the way to lane. Oh, we're also gonna end oh, up doing the super boss. Of course, I got KO'd e immediately. Oh no! I'm getting wrecked by uh by Uncle Giovanni. Uh, Gio, why? Uh, I have my one escape rope already. I'm gonna get two full heals and then just buy a buttload of hypers. A KO's heal. Uh, I think the note about my fusion. Uh, I'm using Fiery Dance, which gives me a 50% chance to boost my special attack, which is very handy. It's not like a guarantee, or a very necessary thing, but it's very helpful. For those of you who are a fan of uh, hit uh, indie game Undertale, that scientist's name is Frisk and has the Pokemon fusions of Kara and Gaster. Oh my god. I have to say that every time that I'm on a marathon because I was a, an Undertale speedrunner for about a year. You can never escape it. I'm sorry. It's a constant reminder. It is my constant companion. Now, shoutouts to the Undertale community. They were super warm and inviting. It just, I was very, very much a baby speedrunner at the time and did not know how to hang uh, with uh, doing things very quickly under pressure. I'm out of revives. Huh. Oh, that's, that's not good. good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll be fine. I'm just gonna go heal. Oh, I can just debug. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna fight Blaine with one Mon, because if I die, okay. I die. Mood. Oh, can I outdo Toxic? Uh, no, I can't. I'm going to have to YOLO this. Because of 9-9. Nine -nine. Okay, actually, I can take a minute. I can use a full restore, because uh, Chardactyl is not going to murder my face. Especially if it uses Hyper Beam. Hey, uh, quick question. What's 4-4 one, what's four, four plus 5-5? Five, five? Uh, 9-9. Nine, nine. Hmm. Interesting. They should name a Pokemon after that. The most majestic Pokemon? Oh, you, indeed. Heck yeah, I support this message. <laughs> Yeah, I love that Toby Fox is the composer for the Pokemon series. Like, it's so cool. What am I doing after this now? Uh, take care of search. Right. Speaking of banging music, we're gonna hear this for five seconds and then never hear it again. Which is a travesty, because that track goes so hard. That's funny. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that here, oh well. Oh, uh, now I'm doing Surge. And I can't wait to get that weird glitch where the can doesn't spawn. It's great. Oh yeah, so there's a specific can configuration that exists where it can just eat the second can and it's the worst thing ever and there's literally nothing you can do about it other than reload the room and cry. In that order. Oh, well, it wasn't that. I didn't get that one. What? Uh, do not do that, do that. Did I get this side? What am I doing? I have Ice Punch still. I'm not 51. It's the last possible can. It's always... Oh no, my Radita gain experience. <laughs> oh no! We're, we're gonna be here a minute. Not a little minute. Shout out to Gen 5 mechanics. Right? Yeah, the, the can can just not spawn. It's very cute. Shoutouts to these two rockets being spinners, and I never knew it until Gary was just like, um, actually. You didn't believe me at first! That hurt my feelings! Yeah, we were in the middle of, uh, doing bingo-related things for Pokemon yeah. Infinite Fusion. By the way, uh, Pokemon Infinite Shout Fusion has a bingo board on bingosync.com. Check it out. I made it. Shout it's awesome. Amiro because he, he really pushed for that. Mm -hmm. He got that working. Very fun, even just casually. Oh yeah, no, totally, like, just ignore the typos. <laughs> That's all I ask. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, it's super fun. It's something that you could uh, totally do with friends as well. Just as you do. Uh, I need to finish using PP Max on... Oh, I didn't do the thing, huh? That. Well, PP board. up on that. All right, and I need to remember that he's still a spinner. There we go. 
I didn't click the button. I Wait. fought the I fought the trainer with the lead zing, and I did a bunch of stuff, and I didn't push the button. To be fair, there's it's it's two inputs. You think you have to mash the text, uh, so it's very common just to accidentally turn it back on. Yeah, I I just didn't do it. What are we gonna do another bingo? We gotta do another bingo. We do need to do another bingo. <laughs> when my work isn't just constantly hurting physically and mentally. Oh, I feel that in my soul. Oh, I did the thing. That's whatever. I've gotten like five spinners by accident so far. Or five optionals. Uh, I've done two. But I I'm not going to count the... Um the extra one that I had to do in order to hit 15 because, like, yeah. I could not not take that. That is right. absolutely required for... Amira, what are you about to do right now? Uh, I'm gonna fight a big bird. It's actually a called... Big bird? Big... It's triburb, actually. You know, I'm gonna use this rare candy just because I can. And so, I like we do... mentioned, um, like we mentioned, uh, Team Rocket's trying to find the ultimate Pokemon, fused or not fused, and, um, and uh, they end up doing it with the... Oh, uh, you'll see. Yep, uh, it, this got... is the other big gatekeep of the run. This is where routes come to die. If you do not have this set up properly, you will just get obliterated. Oh, I got tailwinded. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to waste some time, I think. There it is. Okay. Oh, no camera at all anymore. Oh, we got the double flinch. I was nice. so mad. I, um, in my no reset practice that I was doing over the course of the last couple of weeks, I got an instance of consecutive triple flinches against a big bird. Nice. Yeah, I will never be able to recover from that gold. <laughs> all right. We say bye so and... Rope out. Well, Limra's doing a rock slide as his uh, method of choice. I got a little... I had to be a little more creative. I saw this, and I was just like, no freaking way. And it was the most glorious thing imaginable. If it works, it works. I gotta heal. Uh, I'm sure we'll burn the two supers. Alright. The good news is I'm fairly certain that we're not getting a world record on stream right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting yeah, a BB. I mean, <laughs> oh my yeah, you, are, you are absolutely getting a PB. Uh, if I PB, it is world record. I currently have that at uh, 136.17. Me Be fair, your route scares me. Like, it is, ah! it is a banging route. Oh, yeah. If I stopped running into counters, that would be great. It's fine if my Aqua okay, will stop missing. It's the brain leak. Oh, I, that's exactly what I wanted. All right, what level are you at right now, by the way? 53. I'm at 54. Well, you're also like five minutes farther in the run than I am. I was really afraid that you were just going to completely like obliterate me because of how freaking overleveled everything was. Uh, I'm supposed to be. Right. So now we're doing all of our heavy lifting with Dragon Dance. We are not going to be using any additional X items whatsoever, and I just used my last guard spec to make sure that I didn't get bulldozed into oblivion. After this upcoming rival, we will reverse again, and then we will reverse one more time during the Any% percent segment. Yeah, because we're technically doing two categories. Um, any percent is just E4, um, but like our Gold Soul server, we have a different, we have a second region that we can go to, and uh, in this category, we're going to be doing both. All right, it's going to be super fun too. Yeah. Uh, so, we uh, will say that there is a flashing light warning in that segment, and we will give you ample heads up when we get to that cursed gym. Also, uh, the uh, credits too. We should probably point that out one, that one out too as well. Oh yeah, 
uh, when we get to credits, it's a good time for hydration breaks and self care. Just, just don't, just don't get too close, too close to the screen. Yep. Uh, yeah, this is an RPG Maker game. It's uh, very impressive. Uh, RPG Maker XP using the Pokemon Essentials package. Uh, super great tool to be able to make your own Pokemon fan games, and they are legitimate fan games. They are not ROM hacks. Yeah. Mr. Streamer, technically, it's, it's, it's a fan game. Oh my god. Uh... You okay? No, I have to burn my elixir now. Oh no. Alright, do this. Max Repel. I need to buy an extra Max Repel because I ended up needing to use another one because I was dumb and had to backtrack in... Um... Mount Ember, that gate. Um, I know where there's a second one, but it's annoying to get to. Nah, yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about your elixir? You'll be oh. fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. Say hi to TOS Trainer. We passed TOS Trainer. We don't have to see the Mill Queen. <laughs> uh. Uh, I'm not gonna heal. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. I need to reverse because if I don't, she will obliterate me because I'm a water ground type and she has a Venatoys that knows Petal Blizzard and will literally one shot me into a hole. It's also faster than me. Which is kind of bonkers to say. Oh, no, it's not faster than me this time. Hell yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah, thankfully... yeah, if anyone... Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I was going to say, if, if anyone wants to learn this, like, we've got really good notes on where to go, what to do, how to do it. Uh, it's a, kind of, for a Pokemon game, it's really accessible, and you don't have to worry about, like, oh, I have to learn all these manips. I have to learn all these, like, frame-perfect tricks. I don't have to worry about having my step count That's be cool. absolutely perfect. Um... There we go. Like, it's it's super cozy once you get past the whole I'm moving at four times speed and yeah. everything is very angry at times. <laughs> the rude. I got the rude. Oh, I guess that's why we use a... Hmm. Oh no! I was one tile too far and didn't react fast enough. I have to deal with uh, the trainer that has all of the bell sprout and victory blossoms and yeah. Uh, so right before this, right before the marathon run, Alimra said, "Hey, why do you why do you learn a shadow ball? You should learn dark pulse." I'm like, you know what? That's a good idea. And then I now I realized why I should have kept <laughs> shadow ball because of all the dark types I'm coming across. Oh no. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Very suspicious, you know... sir. You know, I thought it was a good idea. In my defense, I thought it was a good idea. I would have done it too. It's almost like it's sabotage. If I was going to sabotage, I would have said you should totally run uh, a Sheninja Wonder Guard build. Yeah, yeah, fun let's... fact, we'll, we'll you can literally... That, yeah. You can build any manner of awful sheninja e thing, and it's mildly viable. Uh, at a time, world record in modern any percent used a uh, Snorlax Shedinja to um, completely negate like most of Johto and uh, Elite Four Champion. Are you at? Oh, you're in Victory Road. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm doing Yellow I'm Hiker. Not. I'm not. <laughs> no. Shout out to the Where? two XP I'm getting right now. Oh no. Are you bullying a kid? Yeah, I had to. He was in my way. I mean... You gotta do what you gotta do. She's gonna turn right Oh there. my oh, god, I didn't, I didn't get the lucky egg. That's why everything's going horribly wrong. Oh no! 
Can you recover? Yeah, probably. I even said I split after yeah, the lucky egg to, to help it. remind I know, you. I know. I know, I know. Um, yes, we can. So when you're running at full speed, uh, sometimes it's easier to do two tile uh, movements than one tile movements. So that's a small setup to skip that trainer. Oh, I missed my split. In my defense, I'm used to getting the mock bike, uh, but I don't do that right now. All right, let's start pain train number one. All right, four dragon dances. Three with a burn. Four, take the full restore. And then a bunch of aqua tails and a bunch of rock slides later. I skip, sir. We'll get burned again. Oh my I forgot to get Surge too. That's cute. Alright, lower lie down. That was scuffed as hell though. We missed a couple of things that we really shouldn't have, and we had to use two. Uh stop, stop, stop. I need to I need to reverse. I need to reverse. If I don't, Bruno obliterates me. Like literally just ends my existence. I almost had a really bad time. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm still probably gonna have a really bad time because we're gonna get focus energy cross-chopped into Oblivion until he swaps out to another Mon. We need this to miss so that way we get our third setup. And we just literally have to stand here and take it until he runs out of power points or misses. Yeah, that it ends up being like that a lot of times. Yep. I'm also going to use uh, Psycross as a quick um, a quick way of getting all of his forward scores out. Because there is a Magnazone um, Onyx. That's really, really gross, and it has Sturdy, and it'll eat all of your time. I am now out of Hypers. Let's go, Agatha! Let's go gambling! Oh, Confuse Ray. Oh, dang it. Wasn't punished. But I'm still full restoring, so that way I don't have to deal with that. Rocks. You missed the rock slide! How dare you miss the rock slide! No hammer arm. Uh, shoutouts to Wabgar and being single-handedly the most useless and horrifying mom in the entire game. Okay, Lance time. Lance is also very much like Bruno, except instead of having Cross Chop that can just obliterate our faces, we have a Dragados that, if it wants to, could just do nothing but Outrage three times in a row, and... Oh, I got risky. I, um... I got all of my setup, and then... Uh, I risked low HP for the Rock Slide, because the rest of that fight's free, if I do it. And I was punished significantly for it. That's fine. There we go. That's what I was expecting him to do. Start off immediately with Outrage. And got three of them off before getting confused and immediately went back into it without hitting itself. Oh boy. And then he snapped out of it. <laughs> And then he went back in for more. And then he stepped out of it. <laughs> and then he went back for more. <laughs> and then he hit himself after I ran He's out of every last... Sauce. He's lost in the sauce. And then I missed the rock slide. I don't even think that I take, like... I think no matter what, I still have to reset this, even if I get all the way through it, because I have absolutely zero healing. Yeah, no, it's... <laughs> No, that's not even the worst lance that I've ever seen. The worst lance that I've ever seen, I literally burned through uh, 10 hypers and 
eight uh, full restores. So I counter TSA or uh, counter service trainer. One. Oh, shit. I did not. Don't worry. I, I did it again. Sorry. I said words and I also re wrong inputted. What was that, Gary? Sorry. I was I was tempted to hit uh, terms of service trainer. No, you should not do okay. TOS trainer. I'm already I'm already breaking the rules by saying fun words too often. That's three for me. I'm usually so much better about that. One. Yeah, two. this game is pretty brutal. Brutal to one Pokemon solo through. Um, if you're looking for a challenge, it's a pretty good game to do that in. But it's still hyper accessible, though. Oh yeah. Like, we have a uh, route specifically for people who want to learn it. It's uh, a Blastoise Nidoking. Uh, significantly less, um, like, reversing. You don't main swap. You run it literally the entire way through. Uh, there's just... It's such a fun, cozy run. I guess cozy as a Pokemon speedrun could be. All right. Banger alert. Get your dance emotes out. We got the setup, and the lead did zero double teams. Oh, love that. Heck yeah, we do. Oh, poopy. Not gonna heal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. All right, never punished. Oh. <sighs> Uh, we're gonna get a 105 something for the any percent over here. Yeah, it must be nice. I'm sorry! No, it's fine. I'm messing up a lot. By the way, I see, uh, Thomas Patrick WX in the chat. Shoutouts to Heepat for, uh, winning the, um, uh, Let's Go po uh, Pikachu Eevee contest that happened recently. Uh, great runs. He absolutely did fantastic. All the competi uh, competitors did amazing. Also, make sure that you're hydrating, uh, get yourself a quick snack, stand up and stretch. I'm using a standing desk, so I just get to get the stretches out. Um, how sweet of XP. That's fine. <laughs> That's much, much more vanilla than this. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> All right, let's go to the back half of the game now. By back half, I mean the last third of the game. Uh, yeah. It really is two-thirds Kanto, one-third Johto with the way that the route is. Uh, but we're going to see some fun faces and some good friends along the way. Except for Kurt. Screw that guy in particular. At least someone is enjoying Kanto. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> So, Gary, do you want to talk about the Whitney puzzle in 5.0? Yeah, so, in the older versions of the game, uh, the puzzle's just... So, each gym in, um, in Johto has, like, a unique, you know, thing to it. Um, it's just wrong in, uh, in 5.0. That first puzzle, it's like, look carefully, how many Pokemon are there? Uh, you count six, it's actually eight. It's very cute. All right, I need a plus two attack in order for this to work, but this has charm and, um, wow, we got it. No charm, no, uh, play rough. So this is actually free now. Minus the paralysis that I had to just clear from Link. Say hello to Chantank, the least cursed of the Miltank sprites. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna see the best Jinx sprite ever, though. I can't wait yeah, for you, price. You, I can't believe I'm yeah, saying that. Yeah, you get there first. Oh, uh, fun little thing that can happen. If you are too much of a gamer and you move too fast, uh, you break the sound. It actually stops the uh, music from working. It's temporary and it'll come back eventually. Uh, keyword eventually. Yeah. Alright. Now... Say hello to Yusin. Yep, you, Miltank fusions, plural. They are, um, they are a sight to behold. 
Also, uh, shoutouts to the Spriter community. Uh, they are absolutely amazing, and this game would not be half as good as it is without their continued efforts. There are over 200,000 individual, unique, custom sprites that the community has put together. Uh, I talked previously about how our main Pokémon that we were running earlier on did not have any custom sprites whatsoever for it, and a community member by the name of Bustalisk who's uh, shown up in my streams like on a couple of occasions, uh, saw that and then just made sprites. And it was the nicest thing that uh, anyone could have done. And the Spider community is also absolutely aware of everything that they're doing. Every last cursed mon, joke mon, like you name it, they big know what they're jungus. doing. Big, big yep. chungus. They know exactly what they're doing, and they excel at everything that they do. It's half the reason why I love doing the- Oh, this game has a built-in randomizer, by the way. Oh, yeah. So, and that is one of the most fun things to do. No lie. I adore it. And, uh, it's- Honestly, seeing all of the sprites is exactly why it's just the best thing ever. Alright, we're gonna get webbed now. This is uh, Surge Cans 2.0. All right, so also shout outs to Gary for showing me something that is literally gonna break my brain for the rest of existence because of how like amazing it is. <laughs> I might actually be able to get through this because of that without getting into a single encounter. Oh, and then I run into an optional. Love it! Not the worst one I could run into. Oh god! Except for the Petal Blizzard. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to be doing something that's not en route and relearn Shadow Ball! It's totally en route, you just should have done it earlier. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do. Let's try to be a helper. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna check one thing. I probably should save before this, though. I probably did. Oh well. Um. So for anyone having problems with the web puzzle, this last part, just don't do it. I was irrationally angry when I saw Gary do that. Alright, we've got a e bunch of bugs that are all... Nice, good luck on E4. Thank you. We've got a bunch of bugs that aren't actually bugs here. Oh, that was the wrong button. Yeah, so coming up here, this uh, Slowzor isn't actually a bug. And this Blizzgull is also not a bug. So we can just obliterate them with Earthquake. It'd be nice if I got special attack boosts on... <laughs> Fire oh, no, I almost made a bad. I almost debuggered. So in this gym, if you debug on your way out, uh, it actually reverts the town back to when the well was overflowing because you seems a jerk. And uh, you have to reload the area. Otherwise, you're blocked until then. Uh, I'm back on level, by the way. Nice. Oh, well, actually, get that recovered. Oh, right plus on. One, plus one level. Uh, Love that. Uh, you saw I was tempting to do um, level jumping. Uh, I defused the Pokemon, um, and the Volcarona jumped up a level. Um, you could do that, um, but that's like what you were mentioning earlier. It's very iffy if it actually works, and sometimes it doesn't have a payout at all. You also lose your IVs, or your EVs, rather. Um, do you yeah, want to talk the body's about the only one that keeps it. Yeah, you want to talk so about EVs only, bro? So EVs yeah, are black magic in this game. <laughs> like, yeah, how how we, do they work? Yeah, we were doing <laughs> some testing earlier today, and uh... I, so imagine a bus, and now imagine the bus doesn't actually exist, and everything is awful forever. And um, yeah, that's exactly how EVs work in here. Theoretically, you oh, it's get your. To happen. <laughs> Theoretically, you should be getting, at minimum, the body effort values of the fusions that you fight. What actually happens is, um, you may or may not get the effort values at all. Oh, uh, we were we were checking on the wiki earlier today, and we are like, well, it has to be something. Oh, thank god I got that KO. 
Um, it's supposed, it's, I, because from what we can tell, it's supposed to be on the, it's supposed to be body IVs is the one you get, or EVs you want to get. So like right here, I would get the, oh, that's annoying. I would be getting a uh, Haunter's EV spread. Um, but we couldn't get it to work. It was extremely inconsistent. So to our knowledge, it just mm, doesn't work at all. Yeah. By the way, Gary, thanks for the one minute um, goal on Kirk just now. You're welcome. <laughs> so much. Like, you know so much about this game, it's staggering. And that's what happens to catch them? That's what catch them all does to, a, to an MF. Uh, catch them all is uh, one of Gary's big pet projects. It's currently at 10 hours, I think you said it was. Yeah, it's going to probably be about 10 hours. Uh, so in this game, obviously, we're not going to catch everything because I don't hate myself that much. Um, um, but in order to get a thing called the magic boots or the debug boots, um, you would... Wait, what the hell am I doing here? Uh, losing your mind. Oh, elixir. Like elixir. Yeah. Um, in order, you'd have to catch all base 470 Pokemon, which is, you know, Charmander through, you know, the, the basic Pokemon, Necrozma Decimate, or ne Necrozma Ultimate, you know. What happens? Um, Fun fact, uh, Necrozma Ultimate actually has its own uh, sprite value that is independent of Necrozma, and it's the only Pokemon that does that in this game. Like, everything else that has separate forms has its own uh, shared dex uh, indexing for its sprites. It was originally going to be... It was originally going to be, like, just a pseudo, but they ended up giving it its own Pokemon entry. A Pokedex entry, rather. Uh, it was originally for a period of time. All right, I'm in, in tribute to Gary, I'm going to try to do the rest of Sprout Tower uh, at full speed. Hey, and yeah. it's not going well. <laughs> because I keep... Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, nope. I give it a shot, and I'm not doing it anymore. Oh, this is where I make. This is where I make up time. I did. I did a good like six attempts, and the um, the setup for doing the room before the victory bells wasn't working properly. Like, it was just I was going just barely too slow by frames. Also, want to see something cool? <laughs> These don't work unless you run into them. So we now have a conga line. There That's another fun thing I showed off earlier. Uh, yep. What am I supposed to be doing here? Uh, uh yeah, quiver, one quarter dance. Yeah, that the tower was absolutely more difficult than it was because I was trying to do something swag. When like I do Faulkner on one time speed, and I do Sprout Tower on one time speed. Because I don't trust it. And <laughs> I don't trust myself. Because that's a lot of fast movement and a lot of very precise movement. So, oh, there's a mechanic for Faulkner's Gym where when you're on that upper raised platform, there's wind that's blowing you two tiles at a time. And if you're going at four times speed, that also makes those triggers go at four times speed. I hope you guys like Agatha because I'm doing it again. We kind of like Agatha. All right, we got Waterfall from Elm, which is going on our Totodile along with Dive. But you already used Dive. Uh, oh yeah, there's a, there's a fun little thing where when you go into the well, it only checks to see if you have Dive, not if the Pokemon can use Dive. Yeah, it, it so checks as long the as you can surf. specifically. Yeah, all right, let's do... So we're gonna do an OSHA violation now. It's great. Uh, we're gonna maneuver through this cave in the complete dark, and then we're gonna talk to this guy, and he says that the tunnel is blocked by rocks. Go get me three sticks of dynamite, tiny child. So we're gonna go get him three sticks of uh, dynamite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's one. Can I dynamite. beat Kanto before he beats Johto? Yes, you absolutely can. <laughs> you might beat Kanto before I get to Claire because my movement is poopy. Uh, Graveler number one has sturdy. Graveler number two has sturdy, and then killed itself. 
All right, so blob, <laughs> wabat. <laughs> this thing has your standard suite of dumb stuff that a wabafet can do, and destiny bond. So I will yeah. always set up two on it, so that way I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> I guarantee the one shot by set up two. All right, last one. So in addition to all of the fusions that have custom sprites, uh, when the game was going through its 5.2 update, uh, oh, here's our OSHA violation. We are this close to the explosion, bam, and we're perfectly fine. Um, but uh, Frogman asked the sprite community to make baseline vanilla poke sprites. So every Pokemon in the game has its own custom sprite now. Uh, all 471, including, uh, Ultra Necrozma, and then all of the fusions that have their custom sprites on top of it. Also, here's how you do Claire. Yeah, we uh, kind of, there's, like, one, t one spot where we can kind of squeeze through, it's pretty handy. Yep. Exactly. Bam, now we're fighting Claire. One, two... Three, was she a three or a four? She was a four. I need to buy items. I am almost out of everything. I need to do it. If I don't do it, I'm going to be in trouble. Also, we're going to see some absolutely gorgeous sprites from a lot of these trainers coming up. Don't That's worry, guys. Rock. I saved. We are going to... Oh, price is free, though, so I can wait until... Morty? I can wait until Morty. And there's a lot of spinners up on the mountain, so this is very likely where I'm going to start taking a lot of, a lot of extra trainers. Oh, holy crap, I did it. I actually got through the mountain without any extras. All right, we're gonna... T we just rested at um, Blackthorn, but we're gonna take another rest here to set our debug point, and... Oh yeah, there's no Mart here, so it doesn't matter. Now it's hockey time! I'm gonna do this the way that I know how to do it. Because if I don't, I'm going to mess it up. Guys, I did it. I beat Kanto. Yay! Congrats! <laughs> also, Glace yeah, Ray is gorgeous. And, uh, Shout out to me walking but... into the wall. Yeah, your... Your... Your route for this gym is, like, absolutely black magic. And I love it. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to do Pokeball Glitch. And Pokeball Glitch. That Pokeball exists in a permanent state there now. Oh, cute. I did not know about that. Yeah, uh, there's actually a similar glitch that you can do in um, uh, Mount Ember with one of the yeah. uh, the rockets. By the way, best sprite in the game, right here. Bye, Jin Lord. My notes for this gym are mm -hmm. Dragon Dance three times, Earthquake everything, Dance on his grave. He is literally the Erica of Johto, where he is such a non-fight. It's kind of hilarious. Oops. Okay, that's fine. Oh! That's a Hanedge Nid uh, Nidoqueen. Uh, that's glorious. And a Hanedge Nidoking. Also glorious. I need to heal because I got poisoned. And then I need to buy a bunch of stuff. Alright, heads up. Once we go into Morty's gym, there are severe flashing lights that will be present 
uh, for the duration of the gym. Uh, they could be significantly worse than they are, but Gary, Jay, and I have a gentleman's agreement that we're only going to run it at times two speed, so that way it's not too terrible. Um, but just be aware, in the next, like, minute, we're going to have some pretty gnarly flashing lights. So the big trick about this pre-gym area is these ghosts will try to knock you off the platform. Uh, it only knocks you off in the uh, direction that the ghost is traveling, like that. Since it traveled down, it pushed me down, and I did not get knocked off the platform. And that's the pre-Morty section done. All right. There's normal, there's times two. All right, here's your flashing light. Oh, Poopy, I need to, before I do anything else, uh, teach Toxic. Why are you teaching Toxic? Isn't that slow? Uh, yes, it is incredibly slow. You know what's slower? <laughs> Not winning? Uh, di dying <laughs> Boy, to a Shedinja Wonder Guard. <laughs> dying to a Wonder Guard Shedinja that you have no coverage for. All right, so fun fact, all these trainers that are in, uh... Morty's gym are unbound by collision and have absolutely gross levels of um, vision. Oh, that's a solar beam. Okay, I will just do. I will just. I will just take that to the bank and cash it. Yeah, Beyblade. Shout out to Beyblade. Yeah, shout out to Beyblade. Shoutouts to my stepson, who has played a significant amount of Beyblade. Yeah, we're just gonna Aqua Tail things for the most part once we get into a bad situation of- Oh, there we go. I got the right speed on again. I forgot that I sped up for the fight and I didn't speed down after the fight. Oh, that guy's so gross. Glad I skipped him. Alright, we're through. Alright, we're gonna set up on this one. Yes, I can see chat. Two. I see you, shy guy. There's a curse! I got cursed! Rip! Yeah. But yeah, bye. We've got, um. I've got chat on my phone right now. Here's Toxic on the Wii Vinja that we didn't have any way of dealing with otherwise. Here's our Snore Slash. Uh, you know, I'm actually gonna take the faint here. Well, that's time loss, no. Morty's gross anyways, so it's not like it's going to make that big of a difference. I mean, the only way that Morty's going to ever gold for me ever again is if and only if I get no trainers. <laughs> Two, three... And the odds of me getting no trainers in Morty's gym when they have all of the detection and none of the collision is, like, absolutely not going to happen. Now we get to debug for the first time in an incredibly long while. Uh, and then we're going to fly all the way back to Mount Ember because that's all of Johto specifically. Uh, you might be wondering, well, where's Chuck and Jasmine? Uh, they're in the Savi Islands. We're going to go see Chuck under a waterfall and we're going to go see Jasmine uh, endangering her nephew. All six of them. Oh, it's just one nephew, but he brought uh, five friends. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to set a debug here. And it's... It's Chuck time. Yeah, okay, they're not so very intuitive. Two... Three... Three... 
I will say, um... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to reteach uh, Rock Slide. I still have Toxic. That's a problem. <laughs> okay. Shout out oh, to yes. all of Chuck's moms, by the way. They have amazing sprites. Um, the cursed, most cursed part about my route, besides the fact that it's not working, um, uh, I have to reteach Rock Tomb to my special attacking Gengar Volcarona Fusion. Explicitly, well, smash? there's for two reasons. Yeah, Rock Smash. That's a Rock the Fighting oh. one. <laughs> you, you said Rock Tomb, which is actually oh, yeah. kind of a significantly better one. Yeah, it would have been nice. Um, explicitly for this Pokemon right here. Uh, Blizzgull? Yeah. Yeah. Here. How much do we dislike Blizzgull? Very <laughs> all much. of the dislike, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, fun fact, all of these rangers, they have special Pokemon fusions. Uh, they yeah, are should all... Show them off. Yeah, you know what, I'll fight one. I'll fight one of them. Here, we'll fight this ranger. What all of them have mons have? named after real-life animals, like this turkey. There's turkey, monkey, which is a Monferno, uh, Mankey, there's donkey... Don Fan, Mankey, and uh, there's a few more. You know more of them than I do. Yeah, you got Salamander, you got um, Caterpillar, which is very funny. Um, so as you can probably tell by now, the uh, the way the names works is it just takes the first half of one Pokemon's name and the second half of the other. So you can do wordplay like that. Yeah, like um, Mr. Sir. Do yourself yeah, Mr. a favor Sir. and don't look at that one. <laughs> that is actually uh, Nightmare Fuel. <laughs> Don't look up uh, Shinx and Ralts, their fusion. It's it's. That's my favorite name. That's my yeah. favorite name. We can't say it though. Yeah. That's illegal. You can probably I'm... people can probably put it together. Yeah, I've smart. also said it like twice already, and yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the naughty zone for that one, and I apologize again for it. I feel really bad because I'm usually better about it. Alright, surprise! These six tiny children were in a forest where a Zoroark uh, was attempting to kidnap them. And we have now dealt with the Zoroark, and then Jasmine's just like, What happened? Let's fight! <laughs> Farfetch'd Haunter is also a good name, uh, can confirm. That is also a banger of a name. Also, let's disrespect Jasmine, because I can't disrespect Geo anymore. Shout out to Scardrio! Alimra, uh, very much stress. Yeah. <laughs> I almost messed it up twice, that's great. Uh, Jasmine has uh, Whirlwind on her Scardrio, so do not bother attempting to set up on it. It is not going to work well. Oh, I hit the Sturdy on the Magnetoys. Also, Metadon is amazing. Love it. I want one as a pet. <laughs> that's 16 that's badges. Great. Now to do the most logical thing ever, go back and talk to Professor Oak. Hey look, it's this weird lady who's blonde and has little flappy headband thingies. Uh, her name's Cynthia, right? Man, that's a that is the longest brick of text in the entire game. Yeah. Ah, Koga's not here. Oh, poopy! Uh, I forgot to buy my reversers. I need two reversers coming up. Otherwise, I cannot complete the game. Yes. Time loss. I don't have anything else to sell. Oh, I can sell balls. There we go. There's my two DNA reversers. So this entire time in Johto, we were able to get away with not using any DNA reversers because Garapert is water ground and that's a kind of an OP type combination. 
Uh, there are things that are specifically going to heck us going forward, though, because of our type combination. And, uh, we need to not. Uh, it was... Here. That's the one. Alright, I'm not gonna bother saving for Silver Rival because it's kinda free? One, two, also, shout outs to the Sandstream Archaeotar. That isn't rock type. Ah, I got roared. I don't want to. I got roared, so I have to keep setting up again. One, that's a thrash. We take thrashes. Uh, get a quick heal. I failed. Uh, I failed. The, I failed the uh, victory bell. Level. No. So it, it hit you too. Yeah. Oh crap! I didn't get uh, rock slide. Oh no. Um. I made a mistake. I'm not gonna get punished for the mistake uh, until. Uh. Cynthia. Also, we use Rock Climb only here, and that's the entire reason why we have Snorlax, so that way I don't have to go back and reteach a bunch of stuff. Then we, I have to use Rock Slide on the one yeah, mom that's gonna absolutely three, six, obliterate me. I have to go back. I can't not go back. Because the one mon that will absolutely destroy me is the one mon that I use Rock Slide on. And you, you'll need it for after that as well. Uh, I don't do you I use it? On, I don't think oh. I use it on gold. Because gold is just a bunch of Earthquakes well, and Aqua Tails. The other one. No, I use Earthquake on that. Okay. Uh, I don't know the answer to that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know the answer to that. About the uh, the name for Hitmonchan and Kingler? Yeah. Yeah, that was censored. Thank God. They were smart. They were very smart. Like, all of the very questionable ones, except for Shinx Ralts, um, <laughs> have, been, have been dealt with one way or another. Left, up, left, up, take a bit, go up, there it is. Almost out. Here's the max of hell. Oh, we just passed world record. Definitely not happening now. <laughs> yeah. God forbid. Let's do that. Uh... There will be a sub hour in a mainline category someday soon, and there will be a sub 90 minute for this one specifically sometime soon as well. Uh, both some of bests for several of us are actually under that limit now. All right, did the reverse. There's a there's an extra special uh, curse sprite in this game, by the way. For, um, Shinx and Ralts. Love it. Alright. Now, the other banger alert. Get out your, uh, jam emotes again. What? Bory Tomb is being mean. It's not doing anything other than try attack, and it's being very angry. We need like the angriest luck on on some of these really, really intense fights. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the name of it. Yeah. I 
This thing is faster than me, and I wasn't able to set up because... Oh, we got the miss. Okay, we might be okay. Because I think we can... I think we can set up on Rosegore now. Rosegore is the one that if we did anything with on the other configuration, uh, we would get absolutely obliterated. Now we're good. My Loeon was fortunately uh, able to miss on one of its thunders. High Vapor Chomp! Uh, so give you a free heal. I'm... What's up? Friend, I think I'm just gonna cheer you on at this point. Oh, you're gonna bow out? No worries. Yeah. No, I appreciate you sticking through and, and showing off your run. Uh, everyone behold the god that is Paldiatina. Uh, the reason why we're staying in this configuration is because, uh, Aurasphere does not like flying types, and we are still a flying type at this moment. One more... Oh! Except Shadow Force. I forgot about Shadow Force. Lastly, after this, uh, fortunately, every time that you talk to Cynthia after you beat her, uh, it is a full restore. Like a, a restore equivalent of a Pokemon Center. So we beat Paldiatina. Oh, crap. Uh, I borked up my splits. Something fierce. Oop, I closed the by accident. I apparently hadn't split since Jasmine. <laughs> because I'm a rocket scientist. That's uh, fine. Uh, there we go. We are now... The person that the protagonist of Pokemon Gold fights at the top of Mount Silver. We are transported three years into the future. That's fine, I can do this. That's three. That's four. We'll do the four store. It's now locked into rollout. So this is this is now free. Oh god! Except it missed the rollout. I got countered. Oh Ooh. man. That was that was bad luck. One, two, three, four. There's the miss on the rollout. Uh now power splitted. Missed the toxic, there's the counter. No matter what I do, it's gonna Yep. <laughs> No matter what to do. So the answer, if I was uh, patient, would have been wait until it locks itself into rollout again, and then do all the things to it to make sure that it doesn't get the opportunity to obliterate me. Four, five, six. And now we will wait for the... We have to start wasting. Yeah, we're not gonna. Don't have any. Uh, no. Here. Nope. There's ah elixir. I can use that. There's the rollout. <laughs> Heck yeah. It is the grossest thing ever to have to deal with. All right. Everything else after this is gonna be more or less free. Oh wait, I did have to rock slide the Dragados. I forgot that that existed. That's a Typhlosion Suicune, and it is majestic. Uh, time is coming up after we fade to white and see the save data, and fine. There we go. Woo! Yep. So that's me having broken my splits, apparently, because it's <laughs> not stopping. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this has been an absolute blast, and I uh, appreciate you, Gary, for... Uh, submitting this on both of our behalf and uh, being an absolutely fantastic sport. 
running through this with me and uh, just having a good time. Oh, absolutely. But Piff isn't quite done yet. Are we? Uh... So we're a little ahead. So we have permission. We're going to go on intermission and we're going to show you something a little bit more fun. So uh, give us like 10 minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna see y'all later. Uh, this will be the Gary show. Have fun, y'all, Talk and thank you, you again so much uh, for all that you do. And uh, thank you to the PSR Speedrun TV uh, team for allowing us to showcase such awesome fan games. Mm -hmm.